Piers Morgan gets the only interview with Trump while he's in the UK Daily Mail online. Published 1720 BST, June 4, 2019 Updated 2149 BST, June 4, 2019 The US President has spoken of his true feelings about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in a world-exclusive interview with Piers Morgan A. S conversation with the Good Morning Britain presenter is his only one-to-one -one with either a UK or US network during his state visit. Their 33-minute chat will air on tomorrow's show, which begins at 6 a.m. on ITV. The Republican address pictured Piers Morgan interviews Donald Trump in a world exclusive that will air tomorrow on GMB, which starts at 6 a.m. on ITV. Piers Morgan announced on social media that his exclusive interview with President Donald Trump will air tomorrow on Good Morning Britannia. Speaking to Piers in the Churchill War Rooms, Pop President Trump reveals his thoughts on the Duchess of Sussex after she was said to have criticized him as divisive. Trump also discusses what he said to Prince Harry during his visit to Buckingham Palace A. Asked if he thought Meghan was nasty, Trump says they said some of the things that she said and it's actually on tape. And I said well, you know what? She's doing a good, he went on she was nasty to me. And that's okay, Trump also said that he had spoken to her husband after Piers asked did you get a chance to talk to Prince Harry, eh? The president said I did, I did, and I congratulated him and I think he's a terrific guy. The royal family, the president replied we didn't talk about it I was going to because it was so falsely put out there. And when you see that tr pictured Donald and Ivan Trump with Theresa May's husband, Philip, in the Churchill War Rooms this afternoon. He denied that the Duke of Sussex had been frosty, responding to the suggesting by saying no, 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 just the opposite. In fact, it comes after Prime Minister Theresa May gave the President a private tour of the underground bunker where Winston Churchill led the country during the Second World War. Eh? Mr. Trump was presented with a framed typescript draft of the 1941 Atlantic Charter, agreed by President Franklin D. Roosevelt and Sir Winston, that set out their vision for the post-war world. A. Trump and First Lady Melania landed at Buckingham Palace at lunchtime after flying into Stansted in the morning following an overnight flight in Air Force One from Joint Base Andrews near Washington, D.C. Donald Trump Jr. shared this shot of his father, First Lady Melania and Ivan Trump touring the Churchill War Rooms with Teresa and Philip Maya. Ivan Tiffany, Donald Jr., Eric and his wife Laura were all brought along for the VIP tour of London's Imperial War Museum on the second day of the President's three-day trip in the UK. Tiffany Trump and her sister-in-law Laura are shown at the Foreign Commonwealth Office on Tuesday with White House Counselor Kellyanne Conway in green. Hundreds of thousands of anti-Trump protesters have promised to bring London to a standstill but they have so far failed to materialize as 20,000 police officers swamped the capital, AA. Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn led demonstrations in the capital today, after boycotting the state banquet last night, AA. Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn is pictured marching with protesters in central London today as people gathered to denounce Donald Trump. The Queen granted the President the greatest honour that can be bestowed upon a visiting world leader in the ballroom of Buckingham Palace. Both spoke of the special relationship between the US and the UK as the countries look to commemorate those who gave their lives on D-Day in World War II. A. The comments below have not been moderated. By posting your comment you agree to our. Do you want to automatically post your mail online comments to your Facebook timeline? Your comment will be posted to mail online as usual. Do you want to automatically post your mail online comments to your Facebook timeline? Your comment will be posted to mail online as usual. 
we will automatically post your comment and a link to the news story to your Facebook timeline at the same time it is posted on Mail Online. To do this, we, you can choose on each post whether you would like it to be posted to Facebook. Your details from published by Associated Newspapers Limited. Part of the Daily Mail, the Mail on Sunday Metro Media Group. Hot, 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 hot,